What's up, you YouTubers? It's Harpy Hunter 89 and... Dispatcher And we are coming at you from... The Dollar Stand. And the voices in our head have told us that it's time to do our Halloween special top 10 video. Now, what are we going to be discussing in this video, Deskbot Triple Zero? Our top 10 scary stack types. That's right. Now, the way we did this is I went through every archetype in the game, and I found the top 10 that looked like they are the scariest, the most evil-looking archetypes around. And then Despot Triple Zero set them up in 1 to 10 order, 1 being the scariest, 10 being the least scariest out of the set, and that is how we arranged them. Now, for those of you who don't know, I had Despot Triple Zero do this because he is 6, and he would be more afraid of some of these than I would. So, with that being said, let's get into the top 10 list. Number 10 is spider. That's right. The number 10 spot goes to the spider archetype. Now, the spider archetype, I've picked mainly because a lot of people are afraid of spiders. I was actually in a toss-up on this one over spiders or one of the many different versions of clown archetypes, like performer power, performer mage, or the actual clown archetype. I chose the spider archetype because it, to me, just seemed like it was the creepiest. And honestly, I think, you know, that you just have to be a complete, you know, pussy to be afraid of clowns. I mean, it's stupid. But anyway, if you've ever looked at the artwork on the spider archetype, got a bunch of scary looking spiders. They're surrounded in purple aura energy. And it's just overall creepy. Do you think that the spider archetype looks creepy, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think is creepiest about spiders? They scare you? Why do they scare you? Because they look like they're going to bite me. Oh, they look like they're going to bite you? Yeah. Well, spiders in them, in them of themselves are pretty creepy, you know, with the multiple eyes, the pinchers, and the eight legs. They are a pretty creepy bunch of arachnids there. But I just felt that the spider archetype did deserve a spot on this list. Next up on the list is... Shadals. That's right. Shadals are taking the number nine spot. Now, what I love about Shadals, what makes them seem just downright evil to me, is that they are the dark puppet versions of monsters from other archetypes that El Shadal Construct is controlling. And if you look at the artworks, the strings that are controlling all of the other Shadals are coming out of El Shadal Construct's back. Ain't that right, Despot Triple Zero? Yeah. Yeah. Despot Triple Zero, what do you find scary about Shadals? They look like scary puppets. They look like scary puppets? Well, they are scary puppets. Did you know that? Yeah. I yeah. Know. They told me. I know I told you. But anyway, the fact that you have this one Shadal mind controlling all these other creatures through dark and evil forces, turning them evil, earned Shadals the number nine spot on this list. Number eight goes to Phantom Knights. That's right, the Phantom Knights are next up on this list. Now, in design appearance, the Phantom Knights are you know, ghostly beings, while the pseudo trap cards appear to be animated armor or weapons surrounded by ghostly flames. What makes you find them so scary? It's a ghost knight. They're ghost knights? Yeah? Well, what makes them stand out to me as far as scary archetypes is that they have no real corporeal form for the knights. It's just the armor and the weapons. And that, you know, having an archetype based around beings that are very, very similar to the Headless Horseman, that I had to just have it on my list. And as far as the animated weapons, you know, ghosts, that's something that ghosts do. They 
possess inanimate objects. Sometimes they possess living beings. But this archetype is all about ghost warriors who have fallen in battle. Coming in at number 7 is... Daycord. That's right. You cannot have a top 10 scariest archetype video without having the Dark Worlds on it somewhere. Now, the Dark Worlds are a bunch of fiendish, scary fuckers who revolve around being in the graveyard, sort of like the undead do. Now, why do you think the Dark Worlds are so scary? Because it has the Dark Cave and it has scary monsters. Because they live in a dark cave and have scary monsters. Well, that's a pretty damn good reason, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Well, like I said, the Dark Worlds definitely deserve to spawn on this list because they are one of the original scary archetypes. And they just deserve to place on this list because of that. Furthermore, a bunch of their monsters look like nightmarish creatures. Uh, their name themselves, the Dark World, proves that they come from some evil dimension. Umbral Horrors are coming in at the number 6 spot. Why do you think Umbral Horrors are so scary? Because it has a paper monster and it looks scary. What, what does that look like? Like a demon to you? Yeah. Yeah? Well, the Umbral Horrors are quite literally a bunch of horrific nightmare creatures. Their name themselves derives from the word Umbra, meaning shadow, which is the derivative of the Latin word of the same spelling. Now, considering that they are an archetype based around shadowy beings, that in themselves gives them a little bit of a scary edge, but their names also infer that they are designed to horrify people. They are the umbral horrors. Anything else you got to say about these? No. No? All right, then let's move on. Number five is Gimmick Puppets. That's right. We are at the top five, the scariest of the scary. And starting off that list is Gimmick Puppets. Now, what makes you think the Gimmick Puppets are scary? The fairy tales look scary. The fairy tale creatures look scary? Yeah. Well, you're not wrong. If you haven't noticed, this is actually the second archetype on this list that is based around puppets. The first being Shadals. Now, whereas the Shadals take monsters from other archetypes and turn them into shadowy puppety versions of themselves the gimmick puppets take generally friendly and nice characters from children's fairy tales and make them look like evil puppets you can even see in this picture here that Humpty Dumpty does look like an orange evil version of himself taking the number four spot is Chess Archfiend. That's right. The original Archfiend archetype is Chess Archfiend. Now, the creepy thing about this particular archetype is that each character in the archetype and all their spells and traps revolve around pieces of a chessboard. And the images for them are sort of freaked out, horrific, monstrous versions of their medieval counterparts. What do you find scary about this one? Uh, his face looks scary. Their faces look scary? Yeah. What are the, like, how, how do, why do the faces look scary? They all got a bunch of evil glowing eyes and shit? Yeah. Yeah? Well, this is actually one of my favorites of the original archetypes that first came out, of the early archetypes, I should say. Mainly because I like the idea of a Yu-Gi-Oh deck being based around chess, because Yu-Gi-Oh is a strategy-based game, as is chess, and I've many times compared Yu-Gi-Oh to chess and this archetype has always held a favorite in my heart and it actually just happened to be on one of the creepiest archetype artworks that's ever been made so I had to put it on this list. Coming in at number three is the Infernal Androids, the Infernoids. Despot Triple Zero, what do you find scary about these things? Because they're demon robots. They're demon robots? Well, you are 100% true. According to the lore of the Infernoids, these guys are actual demons. The source code that the Cleeforts notice when they are accidentally release these things from the Naturia Grand Tree is 666. These guys have Satan and evil written all over them. Their name 
Infernoid is a derivative of Inferno and Infernal Android. They are just demons inside robots inside demons inside robots, aren't they, Despot? Yes. Yeah, I mean, this archetype is just pure, unadulterated evil. And having an archetype like that, it had to make this list. Now, as demon-esque as the Infernoids were, Despot Triple Zero thought that the Infernities were even scarier than the Infernoids. Despot Triple Zero, why do you find the Infernities scarier than the Infernoids? Because they look scarier than them. How? Because they have scary faces. Because they have scary faces? What well, They look like skulls and shit, don't they? Yeah! Alright, now the Infernities actually have a little bit to tell about them. Their artworks mostly are stereotypical depictions of the Wild West with cards like Archfiend and Necromancer and Mirage alluding to the Native Americans. Then you have cards like Avenger, Randomizer, and Launcher who are related to the Cowboys. There are more recent ones, however, like Knight, General, and Archer, who bear strong medieval tones to them. But all of the Infernities do have one thing in common. They look like Grim Reaper, Skull, undead versions of whatever era they are in. Now, that is just one wicked way to make an archetype look evil. Don't you agree, Despot Triple Zero? Yeah. Yeah? Now, do you think that they're evil? Yeah. Well, you would be right. At least in their beginnings, anyway. In the anime, the Infernities were used by Kallen after he became a Dark Signer. And they were primarily used to summon out Hundred Eyes Dragon, which was then used to bring out Kallen's Earthbound Immortal. So they did, at the beginning, start out as an evil archetype. But later on in the anime, Kallen does come back and he uses the Infernities for good as well. So that is actually a pretty interesting story behind the Infernities. What do we have at the number one spot, Despot Triple Zero? Fluffle and Fightful. That's right. Now this one I actually picked for the number one spot, mainly because this archetype reminds me of Chucky. Now, Despot Triple Zero, you haven't ever seen Chucky, at least not yet. I gotta rent it, you gotta watch it. But what do you think is scary about this archetype? Because they turn to scary monsters. Well, because the stuffed animals turn to scary monsters? Yeah. Yep, that is 100% true. Now, this is technically, people consider this two different archetypes. I consider them the same. Now, it's actually based of the Fluffles, who are monsters based off of plush toys with angel-like wings on their backs, except for Owl, who has them on his head, and Fluffle Wings, who is, of course, a pair of wings himself. And they give off a very cute and innocent appearance, sort of like Chucky does at the beginning. However, once you start fusion summoning, they turn into the Frightful Monsters, which are based off of corrupted versions of animals from the Fluffle archetype. And they feature a destroyed plush toy with their respective edge of tools or weapons inside them, giving them a more demonic and terrifying appearance in contrast to the Fluffle Monsters. And the artwork of Fluffle Factory depicts the transformation of Fluffle to Frightful Monsters. And in the TCG and English Arc 5 anime, the Fluffle or the blades of the Fluffle Monsters are given a glow. Now that is just extremely interesting. And the reason that they're given a glow in the animes is to avoid references to actual weapons, which doesn't make any sense to me. Now Despot Triple Zero, what would you do if you seen a stuffed animal with knives and swords coming at you? Uh, I'd kill them. You'd kill it? Mm-hmm. Boy, you'd run away screaming. I know, I would run away screaming. I'm sorry, if I ever ran into the Fright Furs in a dark alley, I would turn around and run. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, no, you'd stay and fight, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and protect well, you. And protect me? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway... Fluffles had to make the number one spot because they act because of the fact that you know they remind me of Chucky, you know the movie Chucky. If you never watched it, go watch it. There's like six of them, but these are the creepiest because they are cute little stuffed animals that turn into big old scary Chucky motherfuckers. Well, that's our top ten scariest archetype videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. 
Despot Triple Zero, do you enjoy shooting these videos? Yeah. Yeah, me and Despot Triple Zero, we love shooting these videos. It's a lot of fun uh, father son time that we have together. But we do like seeing people view the videos. We like seeing people like them. And we love seeing people subscribe to our channel. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, your family, anybody you know who you think will be interested in this channel, tell them about it. Uh, just get us those subscribers. We want to have, how much, what, 500 subscribers by January, right, Despot Triple Zero? Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to get 500 subscribers by January. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. We love seeing new subscribers. Also, if you have an idea for a segment that you want to see on our channel, let us know. Our channel is around to serve our viewers. So we want to put stuff up our viewers like to see. Also, if you have an idea for a top 10 list or an archetype breakdown or a discussion or a rant or anything that you want to see, leave it in the uh, comment section below on any one of our videos on this channel. So until next time, this is Harpy Hunter 89 and saying Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween. Ha 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 ha!